Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome to another Man 13 online game. Today we got the Detroit Lions and the Washington Redskins. And of course the Redskins are pretty much the talk of the week because um they lost the playoff game, but more importantly they lost RG3 to a serious injury. He's supposedly supposed to be back for next season. And um who knows how durable or how much he'll actually perform next season, but he should be back, so Redskins fans get somewhat pretty sigh relief, even though they just lost the playoff game. <laughs> um the Detroit Lions fans, they're in a deeper hole here because they just went like 5-11 and 11 or 4-12 and 12 or something like that. I think they lost their last eight games of the season. They even lost to the Arizona Cardinals, which is like, I don't know how the hell you do that. They got the Ryan Linley, John Skelton, Brian Hoyer committee of quarterbacks down there. And no one, like they couldn't beat them of all teams. But um, I'll try to make them good in Madden at least. They're a better team in Madden than they are in um real life. I'll tell you that much. We got Java Best actually playing. He didn't play the whole year because of his concussion problem. He might never play again which is kind of sad but um, that's reality at the same time but um, we're moving the ball here early we got the ball out there he punted it we made a good stop on defense even though we kind of dropped the ball on third down but now we're stuck in a third down of our own after i try to step up in the pocket and got sacked instead and then i get sacked again on third down i don't know this redskins pass rush is pretty good in this game i want to say they're great but there's Better than average. So they get the sack there. Brian Arakpo actually playing, even though he's on IR. And then here, Alfred Moore is getting the run. We both stalled on our opening drives. But here he takes a deep shot for Santana Moss. Got to step on the cornerback. And RG3 puts it on the money. Touchdown, Redskins. And the tie is broken. This is a subscriber game, by the way. And it's also played almost like a month ago, I'd say. Before the whole RG3 phenomenon came up on Madden. Everybody started taking the Redskins. But I'm um, here. We're running the ball with Java Best. Running up the gut. Getting some yards. Getting some more yards. Yards, and how about we just cover all the damn yards in this field? 76 yard touchdown in two plays. Let's go, Java Best. Back to a tie ball game right before the first quarter ends. And now he's got the ball back to try to answer. He's rolling out with RG3, getting a ton of extra yards here thanks to um, his mobility. Getting all the way to the 40 something there. That's like a 20 yard run. I think it would be like a 10 yard run at most. Then here, run to Alfred Morris, continuing to run the ball with him. Trying to keep a balanced plan go here in the game. But we get a nice sack here. DeAndre Levy, I believe his name is. Something Levy. He gets the sack. Second down and 20, though. He gets a nice play. Moving it up to third down and four. And I actually did not have Ndamukong Sue playing. Kind of the way I had my depth chart set up. I forgot to put him on the field. Or at least the way my defense is set up. But, um... DeAndre Levy's doing work in the meantime. He's getting another sack there. Two sacks in the drive, and we force him to punt the ball again after he got that nice um, catch in second down. So now we get the ball back, and um, looking to break the tie, looking to go up ahead ourselves. We get ball half time, so we keep that in mind as we move the ball down here with Calvin Johnson. And I think I ran hurry up because he only got 12 seconds there. I'm pretty sure I ran hurry up for a lot of this drive. Tried to run the ball there with Jawa, but he stuffs it up. Second down at 12, nothing open. He's got nine guys in coverage, so I'm kind of waiting to take off. I really don't see anything open, and that's what we do. We take off with Stafford. We don't get the first down, though, which kind of sucks. But on third down and one, we get a nice run here at Shore. Could have been a touchdown if Sue actually blocked. His only play of the game, we put him in, and he doesn't actually block for it. He just stands there. But I'm into whatever. We got the first down, and then we move the ball to the goal line anyways after throwing it to Java Best on a um, running back streak at the backfield. He would try to run it with him. Nothing happened. Second down. I was looking for Calvin, but Calvin was covered by um, D'Angelo Hall. So that brings up third down and six, and I'm going to all reliable. But apparently D'Angelo Hall knows what all reliable is. He completely jumped that route. Like, you don't see many cornerbacks just jump a route like that in this game, but D'Angelo Hall just jumped my damn route, and of course he's going for six. So that's just the way it is. I can't throw a pick in the red zone without having to go for six points. No one, I can never get someone to tackle those goddamn people. But um, yeah, that sucked to give up. Cause we were gonna go up 14-7, at least 10-7. But um, instead, he's up 14-7 now, right for the two-minute warning. He was showing some pretty damn good pocket presence. And then Calvin Johnson ends up wide open downfield for the easy touchdown. But what in the fuck just happened? Instead of a touchdown, Calvin Johnson, the 99-rated overall wide receiver on the goddamn cover of the game, cannot sense a deep ball coming right behind him. Just slow down a little bit. Instead of running like... He's running a freaking 40-yard dash. Like, what the hell is going on, Madden? Now it's like, okay, the one pick, I'm kind of, that was kind of my fault. But what the hell was that? What was that? It should at least be 14-14 right now. Instead, he gets a catch here to move himself into field goal range to keep four bet right for the two-minute warning end. 17 seconds left. But thankful we do get this pick here with God knows who is a um, cornerback in um, Detroit Lions. It's part of the reason why they're bad. And we get a nice return with this green guy. Get all the way to pretty much the 20-yard line. And now we're in field goal range with eight seconds left. So that was a nice swing. And even bigger swing, we hit up Brandon. 
Peter Pettigrew, and he gets a touchdown for us with four seconds left. So now we tie the game up at halftime. Huge possession there to tie the ball game up as we go into the halftime show, which is the NFL Awards, who I think should win them. And um, they're not doing this until he's the day before the Super Bowl. I think I read that. But um, here's my take. I say I would say Adrian Peterson is the MVP, but what they might do is get Peyton the MVP and Adrian Peterson the Offensive Player of the Year. That seems the way be the way they actually do it a lot nowadays and then um coach of the year i give it to pete carroll bruce Ar the bruce arians um chuck pagano thing is kind of sketchy to like figure out so i would just say give it to pete carroll for what he's done with the seahawks and um how how they transform that offense with russell wilson and all that and um yeah i give that to them defensive player of the year jj watt by far dude's a beast you know you might want to think about um von miller Allen Alan smith or something like that but i say give it to that dude, J.J. Watt. There we had a nice deep throw to Calvin Johnson there coming out the third quarter. And um, offensive rookie of the year, I give it to RG3 because um, I think he earned the rookie of the year by winning the NFC East, winning those last seven games. He had a good year, you know, give him credit, even though he blew in the playoff game with one knee. What are you going to do with one knee? As we get the touchdown, the drag out to Calvin Johnson. He sent heavy pressure, so I had to get it off. And I, I basically read Calvin Johnson. If Calvin Johnson did not get open, I was getting my ass sacked. So thankfully he got open as I was getting hit. So that was all good. And then defensive rookie of the year, uh, Luke kikui has got to get that. I don't know how he doesn't get that. The offensive rookie of the year, you know, you can make a case for Walker, Russell Wilson even, but defensive rookie of the year has got to go to Luke Kuechly. He was second in the league in tackles total, I think, so I don't know how he doesn't. The dude's play like a monster, especially with Beeson out. He definitely carried that um, Carolina team, and they improved the seven and nine. You know what I mean? They had they had a good second half, especially with Keekly improving and all that. So you know, I say he gets that, and then um, whatever um, awards I missed, I missed. So that's whatever. But here he gets a nice third down and ten conversion to Santana Moss. I got a seven point lead after my drive out of halftime. So you know, I got the lead. It's up to him. Pressure's on him. Second down and two though. He gets a nice throw to Fred Davis. Ton of yak in that one. It's all the way to the five yard line. First down and goal at the five. I was hoping. Steven Tulloch would react, but he didn't really. He makes a nice throw there over the top of him to um, Pierre Garcon, and he breaks the tie game open. And now it's four quarter time, so tie ball game, four quarter. It's basically a new ball game, four quarter. It's six minute ball game. That's the way I see it right now. So we're going to do that, and we're going to run the flea flicker here, try to get something open, but he shuts it down very nicely. So we're lucky enough to get the ball thrown away before we get sacked and lose like 10 yards. Bringing up a manageable third down and six, and we do get the Java Best. Java Best has been playing huge in this game. Here we run it, run a little um, cross here with Java Best, and he gets a good nine yards in it. So that's cool. You know, we're not exactly trying to milk the clock because I'm not that kind of player. Cause I really. I get too bored milking the clock, to be honest. Like, really, I'm just here to play a freaking game. I'm not here to sit, like, I have no life and milk a clock all day. But, um, I will I will bring the clock down sometimes, you know what I mean? You, some, you gotta do that sometimes with, like, three minutes left in the game. I don't want this dude to have the ball back with too much time. But you see I'm milking it to, like, 13 seconds and all that. At two-minute warning hits, we run it with this dude, and he gets in the end zone. So we got the lead. And, you know, I just... Once the fourth quarter comes, just I'll, I'll figure out your defense in enough time, and I'll probably score on you in the fourth quarter. That's the way it is. Just give me the ball in the fourth, and I'll probably score. So that's what we do there. We got the lead, and I now he's got to score a touchdown. Field goals do nothing. I always like to remind you guys about that. You know, you probably know. Field goals do nothing. He needs a touchdown in this drive. So everything is four down territory. He does have all three of his timeouts. Minute 30 left. He gets it out of bounds here nicely to Josh Morgan. Doesn't get the first down, bringing up second down in inches. So he runs out the pocket here with RG3 just to get that first down that's what he does minute 24 left now minute 10 left he's running hurry up here get an out route there i don't know how i think delmas didn't get that or green i'm not sure who is there but i'm not sure how they didn't read that but he gets the out route gets out of bounds saves time gets to call a new play trying to get something here downfield no pressure coming at rg3 at all i'm sending two guys they're not getting there they're never gonna get there especially since i don't have freaking sue in the game and he gets a nice route here i think i left him open because i thought i had a pass rush and he got open eventually, so that was that. 50 seconds left now. We try to get the pick here, but we don't get anything. 48 seconds left, second down and 10. He's moving the ball downfield. Only 28 yards left to tie the ball game. And then he gets a nice run here with RG3 out the pocket. Still not calling a timeout. 31 seconds left. Gets a throw here to Joshua Morgan and gets it a four-yard line. Then he calls a second timeout here. Now, first down goal at the four. He's got to get in the end zone. Looking for somebody. We only rush two guys. He throws it, and Ashley... Palmer makes the play of the game, picks him off in the end zone, and with that, he only has one timeout, so we're going to need a ball. We're not taking any chances. We're going to leave here with the W. This dude played a good game, you know what I mean? In the end, though, we do come up with the win, and 
yeah, that's that. We got the win. So I hope you guys like this video. Uh, subscribe if you haven't for more games like this. And on that note, I will catch you guys next time.